Um, hey YouTube, uh, today I'm going to show you how to um, convert a, a carrier branded Galaxy S7 um, US. So as you can see I have a Verizon uh, Galaxy S7 uh, Edge. Now what we're trying to do is install a US unlocked version of the ROM um, and remove all the bloatware from um, your carrier. So T-Mobile, Verizon, and Sprint. I have tested on T-Mobile, Verizon, and right now, um, and Sprint. So it removes all your, uh, you know, carrier bloatware, uh, like your uh, apps from Verizon, as I have, or your messages, and also your Samsung app. So it's going to be near stock, but with the Samsung theme on it. Now, in order to do this, um, you're going to need three files and they'll be in the description um, to where you can download everything. So now, for now, you just need to download these three. So Odin is one of them. This is what uh, we're going to use to install the ROM. And this is the ROM itself. The ROM is the biggest file. It's like uh, two gigs. It might take uh, it might take a couple of hours depending on your internet connection and your drivers. So here are these three files. Now. Once you get the three files, you're gonna extract them, all of them, and you're gonna leave them in your desktop. Then the first file you're gonna use is your um, drivers. So you're gonna want to install your uh, Samsung drivers. So once we do this, uh, your phone will be detected on the computer. So I'm using Windows 10 on this. So I'm just gonna do extract here. Now uh, the drivers just got extracted, so it's in your desktop. Don't need that. Um, click on it and just hit yes and run. Now your phone should be disconnected. Um, I mean, it could be connected, but I'll, I'll just have it disconnected. Now it's saying here I already installed it, so uh, I'm just gonna say no. But if it says do you want to proceed installation, just go ahead. So no. All right. So the drivers are done, uh, and you can probably uh, plug in your phone. Okay. Good. Now the second step is to extract your ROM. So here's mine um, using a trial version WinRAW. So all you're gonna do is uh, drag and drop it to your um, desktop or create a folder like I did, unlock US ROM. I just dragged and dropped it in there. And it's right here. Good, so now we have the driver, we have the ROM. And the last step is to extract um, Odin, which is the app that's gonna allow you to install the ROM on your phone. Now this one, <clears throat> this one comes with a May 2017 security update. Uh, I'm not sure the phones I did. Uh, uh, most of them had newer security patches and it still work. So it's gonna be on you if it works or not. But I'm gonna show you that I can do it on mine and see if you guys can take it from there. Okay, good. So now we're gonna open up Odin and. We're gonna let's see. We're gonna open up Odin here, and we're gonna go to um, select uh, four files that are gonna be flashed on your phone. Now, if you do this, it's gonna wipe out everything on your phone. So make sure you do a backup before uh, doing any of, of this. So you're gonna hit uh, bootloader, and you're gonna look for the folder you, uh, you created or your files. Right here it says BL and you just wait. Now AP is gonna take a while. It might take um, like 30 seconds or a minute just cause the file is uh, really huge. It's like a gig. Okay, I'm just gonna give it a quick uh, second. Um, yeah. See it's loading now, depending also on your computer. Um, <laughs> it'll, it'll take a minute or two or, or five minutes actually on older computers and mine's actually not that old so still taking <clears throat> a long time now I do recommend actually while you wait you can go ahead on your phone if you backed up everything you're gonna go ahead and turn on turn it off so just hold power and turn off All right, so phone's off here, and we're gonna wait until the ROM loads on into the program, uh, Odin. 
Okay, so as you can see here, it showed up, so it's loaded. And the, re the two that are left should be um, really quick. So CP, right here says CP. Just give it a sec. Um, and CSC. And CSC, um, you're going to ignore home CSC. Don't pick home CSC. Pick this one. See this one? No home. So all four right here went in. Home doesn't go. So you can even delete it if you, if you don't want to get confused. Okay. So now we have all the files in Odin ready to be flashed on our phone. So if you have, a, uh, like I said, Galaxy S7 um, Edge, uh, T-Mobile, Spring, or Verizon, I have been tested on on AT&T. You could try it. Nothing's going to happen. It just might just wipe your data. Okay, good. So our phone's off too. Now you're going to go into bootloader mode on your phone. So you have to do is just hold volume down and the home button. Hold volume down, home button, and then press the power. And hold it for three seconds. There we go. So now we're on bootloader mode. And we're going to go ahead and plug in our USB cable. So make sure your USB cable is connected to your computer. There we go. And now hit volume up. Volume up. Okay, good. So now that's uh, it's in downloading mode right now. And as you can see in Odin, uh, you see um, COM18. Um, yours, it's going to be different. And every, uh, this is just a USB. It's going to just be any number. As long as it says COM something, you're good. Okay, good. So now um, we're just going to press start and we're just going to wait. Uh, give it around five or six minutes. Um, uh, if it fails for any reason, it might be just Ha downloaded it and you didn't get the whole download maybe maybe you missed something or if it doesn't work it might just be the security patch but either way we're just trying this out this is just if you want a phone without any carrier bloatware or you know you just want a clean phone and uh, I'll show you at the end of the video how it looks or how it will look hit start let's see so right now it says here file analysis so I guess it's just verifying the whole um, ROM file okay good as you can see since if you see this moving this uh, green bar uh, moving on and also on your phone make sure the bar is moving uh, that means we got something that means it's gonna flash the whole uh, firmware on your phone and you know it should be good so I'll be back, I'll speed this up, it's going to take probably 5 or 10 minutes, and I'll be back once it's uh, fully uh, on. Okay, uh, we're back, so as you can see in Odin it says pass, so that's, a, that's the best sign you can get here. Basically means uh, firmware flash successfully on your phone. And right now on the phone, it should, it, it's loading right now the whole um, update we did, kinda. It should take a quick, about a minute or two until the phone boots up. Okay, so as you can see here, it uh, has booted up. It's fully has booted up to um, to the Samsung startup uh, screen. So we're just gonna well, I'm gonna try to quickly set it up as quickly as I can. So skip that.
Okay, so as you can see here, this is now this phone has been converted to a fully um, unlocked version of the Galaxy uh, S7 Edge that would, they will sell in the U.S. So this will, this went from Verizon to a Galaxy S7 Edge um, unlock. Now I will mention this: it's not going to unlock your device. All it's doing is converting it to um, removing all the bloatware and all the carrier apps that the phone originally comes with and uh, some of the Samsung apps. So mostly only the apps you'll see here is just Google um, apps. See? So uh, that's pretty much it and some of those Samsung apps which you can remove. But yeah, so that's about it for my video. So uh, another benefit for this is um, this is an unlocked Verizon phone. So now it's just an unlocked phone that will work with any GSM carrier. So if you had an unlocked Sprint phone, you can convert it to a GSM um, only phone. And yeah, so uh, thanks for watching and um, hope you enjoyed this video. And like I said, um, not sure if it will fully work for everyone's phone, but if um, you can convert it to a stock uh, US unlock version, then that's fine. And thanks. Uh, uh, please uh, let me know if you need any help or